we are going to go ahead and use native words compare feature. This is really great if you don't have a third party comparison tool and it's pretty simple to use. We're going to go ahead and make sure we're on the review tab in Microsoft Word and over here we have the compare group. We're going to click on the compare drop down and we're going to choose the option to compare. You're going to create a legal black line, legal red line, um, it's also called a document comparison. And the compare documents dialog opens. And you always want to compare the oldest to the newest. So we're going to go ahead and select our original document. And then we're going to go ahead and select our revised document. And you can also label your changes for the revised document with whatever name you'd like. And you have a more and less button here which allows you to choose additional document comparison options. You can go ahead and check and uncheck the boxes here um, or you have show changes. We're going to go ahead and leave the default settings and it's going to create our compared document in a new document within Word. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. The documents are compared and our black line is created. What you're going to see on your screen may vary depending on your settings within Word. Let's go ahead and look at what we're uh, looking at here. Over here on the right hand side of your screen we can see the original and the revised document. And as we scroll through our comparison it also scrolls through the original and the revised documents as well. If we don't want to see our source documents we can click on the show source documents button and say hide, show original, or show revised. We're going to hide them. Over here on the left hand side of the screen you have your reviewing pane. This is a real quick and little nifty pane because if you have a document that has a lot of track changes you can double click on any of the changes and it jumps your cursor to that spot within the document. So this is really useful for navigation, not just seeing what changes have been made. It can be toggled on or off. If you don't like the track changes option, you can actually click on the track changes button and say change tracking options. This is really useful if you want to turn on or off uh, what's actually being seen on the screen such as maybe you don't want to track the moves, maybe you don't want to track the formatting. You can uncheck these options and click OK to save your changes. If you need to print your comparison, you can go ahead and click the office orb and go ahead and say print and it will print the document comparison. One of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're working with native word track changes is that the changes within the document are actually changes that can be accepted or rejected. You'll also want to keep in mind that your black lines are just to be looked at and printed and that any changes should really be made to the modified version or a new version should be created. So go ahead and try the native word compare option. Have fun!